welcome back to Redhead Art. Today we're going to show you how to make this beech wood, driftwood and broken shell rattles wrapped in yarn. And this is a really big one, so actually it doesn't really fit on the camera. But we've got another one here and it is so easy to make. Firstly, I'm going to take it apart so you can see it, but I'm also going to show you about the yarn wrapping. So what you need to do, I love this because you can actually do these on the beach, right? So it depends really on whether you want to decorate it first or not, but you can make a simple one on the beach there and then. All you need to do is take some elastic bands with you. So the first challenge is to find a forked piece of wood. Obviously there's not that many of these, so you have to be lucky. So it's one of those lucky finds. And the next thing you'll need is some broken shells. Now we're always picking up shells and I never know what to do with a broken one. So this is a really, really good one for broken shells. Now, firstly, I'm going to show you how to do the yarn wrapping. Yarn wrapping is actually really, really easy. So I've got some wool and actually you can do this on the beach too, but you know, it just depends on, on what you want to do. Wrap it round like this. Give it a little knot, like so, and then just hold that down, and then you start to wrap, like so. Now the great thing, and you try and get that little bit that sticks out covered, if you can see. Great thing about yarn wrapping, you don't have to be too neat. There we go, that's what you need to do, and you keep going. If you want to change colours, all you do is get some more wool which I have behind me. Let's see if I can find an end on this one. Hmm. Here's a better end. You get some scissors, you snip it. So that one's done. You tie them together, like creating a little loop like this, pushing it through. Make sure it's nice and tight. Keep wrapping, keep wrapping, and then when you get to the knotty bit, which is in this case here, again you hold down the fabric, you know, the, the, the knot so you can cover up some of that. And then every time you sort of go around, you know, just gently nudge it down to make it a nice, neat uh, wrap. Now, when you want to finish off, I'm not going to completely finish this one because otherwise the videos will go on forever, is you take, again, your scissors, cut it, and then the way I tie it off is I wrap it around, put my finger in, in the way, and then I thread it through, like so. Give it a little tug, do it again. Thread it through, give it a little tug. And then, to be honest, and you can trim these things, then I just cut this off, and you can poke it inside with something sharp. And there you have how you do your basic yarn wrapping on sticks. So, and then the fun bit and the easy bit. You take your elastic band, of course you can use string, you can use wire, whatever, but I quite like the string method because it's really quick and easy. And then you sort of thread on your shells. And it doesn't matter too much in what order you put them. Let's get that one next. You can always experiment and see if different ones work better. If your hole's really small, like this one's a bit smaller, I think it's best to go in the middle because in the middle your elastic band will be the most stretched so your shell kind of won't get stuck if that makes sense. Of course if you're using um, string or um, like a wire then it, that, that doesn't really matter. The ones with big holes at the end, thread them all on like so, pop them over the edge like such and you have made your very own yarn wrapped rattle there we go really sweet and easy love this for the beach can't wait to make it when we go on holiday hope to see you here again on red ted art soon don't forget to subscribe bye